Okay, this video will look at a couple different things, but the primary objective of this is going to be to show you how to copy an image from the web into Photoshop and have the canvas be the exact correct size of the image that you're about to paste. And what happens is when you copy an image from the web, it goes onto your clipboard or it goes into your computer's brain, so to speak especially in this case Photoshop's brain and Photoshop knows that you have something you're getting you've copied and you're getting ready to paste it and as a result it will prepare the correct size canvas for you automatically so rather than doing our 800 by 800 pixel canvas we're gonna let Photoshop tell us what the size of the canvas is okay so in this assignment here I'm gonna click on uh, this clown image and just get the clown on the uh, on the page by itself and I'll right click with my mouse and go to copy image okay and then I'm just gonna go back to this page to give some contrast now I've copied it I'm gonna go to Photoshop and go file new like we've done but rather than 800 by 800 I'm just gonna look and see what Photoshop has here and it has 553 and 553 and the reason those numbers are chosen is because Photoshop knows that that clown is on the clipboard and that's the exact size of it so here I'm gonna make this error to show you what can happen if your color mode isn't RGB uh, and then we'll go and do it correctly again but Photoshop knows it's a 553 by 553 clown image I click OK and here I have this canvas that's ready for the clown image. I go to edit, paste, and there's the clown image. Now, you can notice here it says gray scale or gray, and over here you're going to notice it's gray. Now, I can choose the color red if I wanted to paint the clown's nose red, but what you'll notice is red doesn't show up here, and red won't be painted because this canvas cannot handle color. It's a gray scale canvas. So let's, let's try this again. I'm going to close this out. I don't need to save it. I'll go to this picture again. I'll copy the image. I'm just going to step backward here. I'll go to File, New. Here's the 553 and 553 again, but I want to make sure I change this to RGB and click OK. Now I can go to Edit, Paste, and here's my image. Alright, so let's take a look at this. This is just a review. You're going to use your uh, ability to manipulate manipulate ability to manipulate colors and uh, take care of this clown everything should be colored use uh, use different colors use different shades of different colors and the whole thing the whole thing should be colored once you get this colored uh, the next step will be to save it in your folder and you want to save it to your folder on the school district network drive and if you're getting toward the end of the period and you haven't saved yet or you want a good practice you might want to save this as soon as you paste it in so if you've uh, forgotten or you need a review on how to save something to your network drive that video is also below uh, worth watching a very important uh, thing to understand that's how to save files to your network drive so that they're as you remember they don't get saved to the computer that you're sitting at as those computers get turned off and things get deleted each night it's very important to understand saving to your network drive or your ID number on the school district uh, network. So that video is below. Uh, once you have this pasted in, you can save it and go to town uh, using the paint bucket uh, to uh, to add color to it. You can go to File Save to resave it, or Control S will also continue to save once you have established where you want it, uh, and that's on your ID number on the network drive. That's where it needs to be saved. Again, that video is below.